Hello folks and welcome back to a new Let's Play. This is Shining Soul 2. Now, at the end of Shining Soul 1, I was pretty damn clear about my feelings of its, um, let's, let's call it repetitiveness. After the first couple of levels, I had started disliking how the characters were dealt with and or at the least how the fighter was dealt with because there was just so little that you could actually do in the game besides just go through the main plot and missing all the time and all that fun stuff. So I'm really hoping that Shining Soul 2 uh, at least expands upon the game a little bit. And looking it up, it is twice as long, which has me a little worried. But then there's stuff like mini quests and side quests that you can do as well. So yeah, let's dive into Shining Soul 2. Please select the file. Well, let's select this one. First one. Now we have some additional characters that we can play as this time around. It's not just a mage, an archer, the dragon dude, and the warrior. There's still Eric. Very well balanced in close combat. There's Armand, who is a half vampire, half human. He uses a bunch of dark spells. It's cool. Uh, a win? Yeah, she's the archer from last time. Ty Tyrock? And he crushes enemies with powerful blows, so he's stronger. Prim, who is actually a healer of sorts. Priestess, after all. Support magic. Primaria, she was the... I believe she was the mage from last time anyways. Zax, who is a strong and dexterous but somewhat low defense wolf character. Pretty cool. And then there's Ryzen, who is a ninja. That's, that's about all I got. He's a ninja. He's very fast. But we're going to be going with Eric, because Eric is... Ooh, I kind of do like his first skin because I like orange and orange capes. But this one still looks like Darius. As such, we shall name him... Darius. No, not Darivus. That would have been weird. The Dark Dragon was defeated. Knight returned to the land. The four heroes were hailed for banishing the darkness. People were thankful that peace had returned and the legend of the hero of light was passed down. But as time passed and people's lives improved, the legend was forgotten. So too did their gratitude fade, and people began to take the like for granted. In a peace-filled town, an old man stood preaching a seditious prophecy. Brothers and sisters, look! The crystal is cloudy! According to legend, darkness was defeated. But light will grow out of control, eventually giving rise to darkness once again. The clouding of the crystal foretells this future. The balance of the world will soon collapse. The old prophet continued to speak to the p passerby, and his voice rang through the town square. But those who had forgotten about the legend took no heed of the prophet's words. Suddenly, at the very, mo very moment, the end of peace and prosperity was near. 
As Prophet had warned, the balance between light and darkness has been lost. Light had become too strong, and the darkness stirred again. An alchemist, servant of darkness, appeared. His name was Gillespie. Gillespie lured the old prophet to the outskirts of town. Shattering the shadow the crystal that told of the darkness. And robbed the world of one virtuous old man. As a member of a dark order known as the Chaos Knights, Gillespie had another mission to complete, and so he traveled to Clantold Castle. He cunningly befriended the knight Deathheart, who King Marcel trusted above all else, and he gave the Deathheart the forbidden fruit. With that accomplished, Gillespie left the lands. Deathheart was suspicious of Gillespie, and so he did not eat the fruit until one day, when his curiosity got the better of him, and he tasted the forbidden fruit. One clear day. King Marcel of Clantol held a tournament. Word spread far and wide, and those who wished to become heroes attended. One of these would-be heroes, named Darius, hey, that's me, headed for the Colosseum on the outskirts of Clantol. It was as if Darius was drawn to the tournament by some unforeseen force. Do 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 do. Hello. I am Bulkin, an adventurer. What's your name? There you say. Nice to meet you. I heard that the king is holding a tournament. What? Really? Darius, you're going to enter? You're kidding. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence. I'm an adventurer right now, but this area is... Yikes! It's here again. I just got rid of it. Man, that thing's persistent. Huh? You'll take care of it. But do you even know how to fight? Uh, Darius, can you, I take a look at your stats? Let's see here. Your current experience is... Ah, you just started out. But if you're careful, you'll be alright. Just get close to that thing and attack with A. That was surprisingly meta. Just want to say it. Oh, right. It's fine. Oh yeah, that feels a lot more fluid. Wow, that was great. You gained a lot of experience. Did you level up? But that in and of itself won't make you any stronger. <laughs> it makes you a lot stronger. Remember to check your status when you level up. You should have more status and skill points. And you'll be able to strengthen your character. Press start to open the menu, and choose status to assign your points. Assign each point however you like, but if you equipped a spell book and want to use it, you'll have to raise the corresponding skill first. Anyway, the only that only matters if you're a spellcaster. So, not at all. Herb. So let's raise stats. Hey, we actually get music this time around for this bit. Digging it. Sorry, just dance to the beat some. Uh, effects hit and evade rate, effects HP, effects spell SP and spell damage, and effects attack and equipment. So, from what little I have played of this, uh, I've played like roughly three, four levels in some long time ago, and this time around, your charge attacks actually do take up SP, but SP does recharge after a period of time. So, Let's go two points into strength, 
two points into vitality. We'll become more tanky. And yep, you can see that from 40, each hit of vitality increases hit, hit points, rather, by three. So cool. Um, I might honestly go... I'm probably going to go sword this time around. But if I go tactics, everything that I can use increases by two. I just won't get a charge attack, which relatively all right. I don't know how counter attack works. I don't know how much that actually increases item effective effectiveness. And that just straight up increases my defense by two. Hmm. And if I get a shield, then this would work. But I'm going to go with tactics. So, follow this path north to reach the Colosseum. Do you see it off in the distance? Well, I must get started on my next adventure. To the Colosseum! Good luck, and goodbye! Hmm, that was alright. You may leave. Next! Darius, are you ready? Then, begin! Yeah, kind of unfair to have you start right up against Death Heart. Huh? Is that your best? Hmm? Your Majesty! I'm sorry to interrupt. <coughs> but we have a problem. Princess Camille is nowhere to be found. What? My daughter Camille? Hmm, I'm terribly sorry. But the tournament ends here. I, I understand. Everyone will continue this another day. That's it for today. Death Heart. Come here. Yes, my lord. <coughs> I'm sorry for the urgency, but please find Camille, bring back my daughter. I understand, my lord. My lord, one other thing. Mm-hmm. I see. If you say so, then so be it. Yes, my lord, then... Darius. That is a good name. Yeah, thank you. I like it too. Haven't seen you fight. Death Heart tells me that you are rather skilled. I will have a guard escort you to the castle. Please join me in the throne room. I have a favor to ask. Is it to save your daughter, Camille? Darius, we're here. This is Clantol Castle. Please, follow me. <clears throat> Clantol Castle is a lot bigger than that little fort that we had before in the first game. Like, a lot bigger. I thank you for coming so far, brave one. This, con this country, Clantol, was known to be peaceful, but things seem to have changed lately. The crystal of light, the royal treasure, is cloudy. Its shine has always signified peace, but now that it is cloudy, I have a bad feeling. I have heard rumors of goblin activity. They have erected a fort not far from the castle. They seem to be up to something. It will be a catastrophe if they invade this castle. There is one other thing on my mind. My daughter Camilla is missing. Of course, Death Heart is looking for her right now, and they may be holding her in the captive in the Goblin Fort. Dear, you worry too much. Camille will be alright. you think so, but she's so reckless. Anyways, please search for the fort immediately. If they are planning on attack, then... Darius, I leave everything in your hands. On this lone adventurer you had only just seen fight your best warrior. Smart. Ah, Darius, hello. I'm Queen Yvonne. Nice to meet you. It'd be nice if there was some way I could help, but I must leave this to young people like yourself. 
My daughter Camille will be just fine. You can't be that old. Please be careful while searching the fort. If you go weary, come back at any time. Eh, talk to everyone. Oh, young one, doing your best. Is something wrong? I'm Samuel. I don't really have anything to teach you. This is between you and me, but are you able to interpret this ancient writing? Press select in the item screen for details. That's all that's written. I understand. I'm unable to decipher it. You're more familiar with these things, aren't you? Yeah, that's pretty much just the old thing of having to go into the menu and... Pressing select will do this thing. I don't know what this this doohickey is, but hey, it's a doohickey. Same sort of setup as before. Set up the items here, set up weapons there. Use them as you need. Can actually drop stuff as well. That's about it. Master Death Heart is out looking for the princess. That, that's good for him. Can't go that way. You also can't attack while in town, which makes sense. So this castle is pretty large, and there's people to talk to, and many quests. Have you ever had an apple? Nothing tastes better than a bite of one of those. Sure. Hey, are you listening? Oh, you are. Sorry. There are many interesting things in the world. Of course, my information is amongst them. The shield skill has to do with your ability to block. D do you understand? I can only It can only be learned by warriors and dragonets. The skill also affects which shields you can equip. Equipping a shield is a good way to protect yourself. If you improve your shield skill, you will sometimes be able to block enemies' attacks. The block rate increases as your skill improves. This is important to remember. You must be tired of listening by now. But there's one more thing. I don't want to get yelled at later. Um, wait, just pretend that you didn't hear that. Anyways, on to the next skill. It's called Armor Up. Basically, it refers to your resistance against attacks. In other words, how strong your defense? Yeah, yeah, we know this part. I just... It is different from shield. Uh, sorry if I rumbled. Maybe I have been uh, more concise. Yeah, now that I think about it, it probably could have been. Well, have a nice day. I'll talk to you later. Seriously, I could have been far, far more concise. My name is Oldie. Are you fully equipped in? The ancient series... The ancient series equipment is my invention. Oh, okay. My name is Hyryu. Technically, it's H. Hyryu. How do you like it? Is it cool? Huh? Not really. You know Kitten Champ? It's cute, but be careful. What? I won't say this twice. This is really important. Indole wings. Have you heard of them? They're really great. I'll only say this once, so listen up. Indole wings can be thrown by holding and releasing the B button. A character hit by an angel wing will be transported back here to Clantle Castle. However, this does not apply to monsters, Darius, only to your comrades, as well as inhabitants of the castle who are lost in the dungeon. I will say this again, make sure you try it out, and if you see anyone in a dungeon in need of help, throw a wing. I'll say this one last time, throw a wing, just try it with throwing one. I don't think I need to say it. Shot it! That's one of the problems when it comes to giving your NPCs dialogue, they get annoying. This is an ancient monster dictionary, but there's nothing written in it. If you find monster cards, put them in this book. And sure enough, it is a monster dictionary. Alas, we've not even fought any monsters yet. There's a lot of monsters. How many of them do you think are going to be recolors or reskins? Probably a lot. Hello, my name is Reed. Hey, Darius. Nice to meet you. I love books. I want to become a writer in the future. That's good for you. Ooh, I wonder if we're even going to be able to get to um the actual game by the time we're done this. Hello, my name is Azzy. I'm a traveling apprentice for the Smith. Clantel's fusing techniques are well respected. I hear that Smiths from all around the world come here. Do you know what fusing is? Yes. Oh, I see. Guess I'm not needed. Nope. Oh, my lord. You know what? I'm going to talk to the one person here who has different hair color. Do you need something? We are the Clantel Knights. I'm DeLong. Head Knight. Nice to meet you. King has mentioned you, so you want to be a hero? I shall teach you some basic battle techniques. 
by using the A button. The B button is for items. You can select your equipment by pressing start, but remember this. Time still flows while you are looking at your items. It may be attacked without realizing it. So be cautious and practice using this system. Yeah, that's an important thing that I'm pretty sure that got me killed the first time I actually played the Shining Souls games. Shining Soul. Shining Souls is completely different. Um, never mind. Okay. Hello, Darius. If you bring me five herbs, I'll make you a healing drop. Mm. He's sneezing. That's sneezing sleepings. Wonder if there's anything I can do for her. I feel sorry for her. Maybe some flowers could cheer her up. I think that that's a side quest that we could do. Like, we find flowers, we bring it. An awesomeness. What's kind of unfortunate is that you still have only this... W you only have this one pace that you move at, which, you know, makes sense. Not exactly a run button. But, uh... It'd be a little bit easier getting around the castle if we could, you know, run. Hmm, where did I put my other red shoe go? I can't go outside like this. But hello. Please don't stare at me. Okay. My granddaughters are so careless. So, a giggly one who doesn't want to be stared at, and a gal missing a red shoe. I bet we can't possibly find that red shoe anywhere. Hello. Yo, my name is Gaelic. I'm guarding this entrance. This is the best post. Man, I'm hungry. Ah, kitchen, of course. How much food is they planning on making? Even I can't eat that much. Now there's other people that need to eat. Garlic, rinse meat, onions, dice them up and mix. Add a dash of pepper, add a dash of salt, then put it in all into the pot. Good to hear. <laughs> so besides that, there's still the ELD mechanics of identifying item shop, storage shop, weapon shop, armor shop, and the smith. Smithing, as far as I know, still works the same. Um... There's Mithril, or Calcum, and Dark Matter. That's it. But, there's also Bone, and one other ingredient I keep on forgetting off the top of my head. Stop pressing the button. Yay, it's there, it's okay. I have a grandson that often sends me letters. Can't wait to receive my next one. I know that this fire is really small. It's hot, but it's not hot. Since it doesn't hurt, your HP won't decrease. You'll see red numbers when you touch it, but don't worry, there's a reason for that. Your magic resistance is increasing. Try it out. Resistance to fire will slowly increase, but only so much. There's a limit to how much it will increase. Do you understand magic resistance better now? Be careful of traps from now on or you'll get hurt. Your resistance will go up a little though when you fall for a trap, but don't overdo it. So yeah. As you are subject to a particular type of damage. That's not the thing. Um, yeah, there we go. As you are subjected to a certain type of damage, your resistance to that type of damage does increase. But only after a while. I think I'll go up to 10 for fire. Assuming it goes that high. Come on, give me a 10. Give me 10. I'm gonna drink my coffee and hope it goes to 10. There we go. Oh, we even went to 11 that time randomly. Okay, so there's a little bit more in here. <laughs> you want something? I'm listening, so speak up. Huh? Hold the B button to release and throw an item. Good idea. Is that all you guys have to say? Yeah, okay. I am the card master. My name is Zavi. I'm older than I look. I'm collecting monster cards. I'll trade you a poison mummy for three goblins. Now back to my banana juice. I bet she is actually drinking beer. But yeah, so if you ha there is a little bit of a collect them all aspect to the monster cards. It allows you to see what all the monsters do for that matter. Hi, my name is Fender. I'm a wandering minstrel. There are many kind of people in Clantel. I'm fond of this place. I enjoy playing here. So, shall I play something for you? I mean, 
keep playing what you're playing, bro. Yo, I want a banana juice. This place is for adults only. Hmm? Aren't you one that everyone's talking about? I see, so you're an adventurer. The fight with Death Heart was impressive. I enjoy a good fight. Well, take your time. Oh, by the way, I'm Jensen. Nice to meet you. Do you want to try this? It's banana juice. I mean, I'd like some banana juice. So, in here, I think this is more or less the save room. Or at the least, this is where we can rest. But saving in this works like you save when you would want to actually quit the game. After saving, you'll return to the title screen. If you save in a dungeon, you can later return where you left off with suspended data. If you quit while saving, you will have to restart the dungeon's beginning. Do not turn off the power while saving. We're not going to save for now. Mostly because I am going to be... Uh... Calling it a video here, and but when we return, we will go to the Goblin Fort and attempt to save Princess Camille. You know, like a uh, proper knight should do. Hopefully, this game is a lot more fun than the previous one. At least in the later game. It's twice as long without the least, like, 50% more side content besides just trying to find stuff. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys in will enjoy the series as much as I might. And uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.